Association and uh, Asylum of Greece. Uh, Panagiotis Matarachi, please. Thank you so much. It is a great pleasure and honor for Greece to co-host uh, the Border Conference uh, meeting here in Lithuania, which attracted the participation from the vast majority of EU member states, the Schengen associate countries, and the EU institution. First of all, I would like to personally thank my Lithuanian counterpart for her hospitality, for the excellent program she organized, but especially for her personal leadership when the EU was able to address an, uh, the challenge with Belarus, a challenge for the entire European Union. The topic of our discussion was the protection of our common EU external borders and how we can better coordinate our efforts as member states. In order to become more resilient and prevent future migratory crises, like the one Greece also faced for several years in 2015, and like the one that Lithuania, Latvia, and Poland are currently experiencing, it is important that we put more emphasis in preventing illegal arrivals. In the current debate on reforming the Schengen Border Code, but also in the framework of the ongoing negotiation for a new pact on migration and asylum, the sovereign responsibility of border protection in terms of ensuring early prevention of illegal arrivals in the European Union is getting a new dynamic and becomes a key point of the discussion, alongside the need for the EU to provide tangible solidarity in the frontline member states. Our firm position, which is reflected in the joint statement signed by 16 member states of the European Union, the majority of member states, the one that we adopted today, is that border protection is critical for tackling the European migration crisis in order for the European asylum system to properly function, in order to be able to effectively manage the issue of secondary movements within the Schengen area. In accordance, of course, with our international obligation and in full compliance with international and European law. We need to be very clear on one thing. We're obviously not against migrants. We are against the smugglers. And smugglers cannot get to choose who gets to come and live in the European Union. Therefore, countries at the external borders of the European Union, like Greece, must have the ability to exercise proper control over the borderline, make use of all available technology tools, both at land and at sea, including by establishing physical barriers where needed in order to prevent illegal arrivals. And such physical barriers must become eligible for funding from the European Union. The EU has land and sea borders. Land borders can be protected by physical barriers and the use of technology. At sea, equivalently, we have the responsibility to protect our borders, ensuring protection of life at sea. Borders obviously cannot be differentiated according to their nature or topography, but they must be treated as an aspect of sovereignty. Thank you.